Hey class, so I wanted to give you a short tutorial, which is totally optional, but if you want to create something like a grommet, um, which is like a hole in shoelaces or shoes, so you can tie your shoelaces, or in this case, my character has like some of these holes in her belt. Um, so what I did is I went to the IMM parts brush and I created these like seven or eight different grommets um, by drawing out one and then using the move tool and using control and clicking and dragging. And once I got these ready, it's not particularly exciting, um, then I made a duplicate of them and I also made a duplicate of my skirt layer um, and got these ready for um, the live boolean. So one important thing with live boolean is see this little start button up here. That means everything underneath this layer and that for this case is two layers because I put it at the bottom is going to be um, boolean. And then with these little tiny icons you can see whether it'll be a boolean union, a boolean subtract, or a boolean intersection. I'm using the two circles that look like one has been cut out of the other. And um, you can see a preview when you turn on the live boolean button. And that shows kind of these um, diagonal lines wherever something will be cut out. So part of the reason I'm showing you this first attempt is that it didn't work. And um, the reason for that is I believe because it didn't go through my entire um, skirt object, it just went through the first layer. The second thing I wanted to tell you about this first attempt is that when you do create something like I just did, it actually shows up on a new subtool. So whenever you hit make Boolean mesh, it may have actually done something um, and you're just not finding that subtool. So now um, that I have clicked this, I'm looking around and it does look like it went through um, for the most part. And so I'm going over to this subtool and I'm checking it out just to make sure that my holes went all the way through, which I think they did. Then to delete these other, um, the insides of the grommets, I'm going to go to polygroups and auto group it. And I'm just going to keep this outside yellow layer and just get rid of all the rest. So to get rid of the rest, you go to your subtool, split hidden, and then delete that extra layer. And now we're going to bring this skirt back into my main um, model. So you gotta remember if you have a ton of subtools around the side here, just like I do, um, you've gotta make sure you're using the right one. So another good reason why we should use, um, shouldn't use projects. I'm also renaming the layer that I wanna keep as correct skirt, just so I know what I need to be bringing in. To bring in the model, you go to Append and select your skirt or whatever your piece is. And now um, I can turn on my grommets, the ones, the extra layer that I kept, and you can see that it's been created. Cool, and then I'm gonna apply a new material to this. I like this kind of shiny metal uh, material. So I'm gonna select that, and then I'm going to paint that on to this um, particular grommet layer. So I'm gonna use my brush, my paintbrush. And then I'll be painting on the material channel as well as color channels. So um, remember how on top of this RGB intensity, there are options for M for material and also for MRGB. And you want to select, if you're painting material plus RGB, you want to select MRGB or um, RGB in the M button. And now I'm just painting and um, it may look like you're doing nothing right now, or I'm getting a little bit of a reaction for this. Um, 
and my uh, this paintbrush has lazy mouse on it so I'm just gonna turn that off for painting um, it's about 50 50 whether I use lazy mouse or not and I'm just making sure I think my my objects were masked, so I'm just making sure that I'm getting everything on the color and the material on them. And then I'm just kind of getting the back side of this as well. And now when I go back and turn the rest of my material back to zebra paint, you'll see that it keeps my grommets nice and metal and shiny, and the rest of my model is back at zebra paint, which is what I like. I can also change my color and fill object. So there you go, hope that helps.